everyone and today we're going to be creating this sim in reason it's the calvin harris featuring sample will be coming back i am also going to be giving this rns away if um, you subscribe to my, subscribe to my channel and inbox me with your email address i'll whip you this um, rns up so um with due cause let's get on the tutorial so um, you want to start up a new reason file and you want to create a combinator and then inside a combinator you want to create right click and create a for polyphonic polysonic synthesizer and you want to click the sh show program button and if your 4 doesn't look like this then you want to just right click and click the initialize patch button this um, resets your 4 to a blank state now the sim's quite um, simple to create, so it's not going to take that long. But we are going to be using three oscillators today. Um, the first oscillator is going to be a multi oscillator. Nope, sorry, it isn't going to be multi -os multi oscillator. It's going to be a wavetable. Um, this next one's going to be an analog, and the third one is going to be another wavetable. Right, for the position of the wavetable on well, the first wavetable oscillator you want to bring the position to around 68 and then just leave it how it is you also want to leave the analog oscillator as it is but you want to go down to the next wavetable and then change the position like we did on the first one but bring this back a bit more to around 60 yep uh, I think that'll do you want to go over to this section here and you want to click the 2 and the 3. What this does, it sends the os all the three oscillators to the lower pass ladder filler as um, the reason arrow arrows show you. Now, for the lower pass ladder filler, we're going to change the filler 1 drive just up a bit to around 71. And we're going to bring the filter 1 envelope amount to about 45, yep. Yeah. We're going to bring the mixer and we're going to bring the balance one to oscillator two and we're going to bring the balance down to around 48 and we're also going to touch oscillator three levels down a bit to around minus 4.6 decibels now we're going to ignore all these other bits but we're going to go down to our filter envelope here and you want to bring the sustain to about 24.8 decibels and you want to bring the release down as well to around 552 milliseconds now we're going to go over, over to our amp envelope and we're going to bring the decay to 6.73 seconds and the sustain to just a bit more than the decay at 7.6 decibels and leave the release how it is now that's it for the synth but we're just going to use a few effects just to brighten the sound up a bit more first effect we're going to use is an equalizer now you want to enable the low cut the low shelf param 1 and param 2 the low shelf frequency Bring it to 60.7 hertz. The gain to about I'd say about 9.7 decibels. And the Q just leave it how it is. For the frequency on param one, bring it down to yeah I'd say about 85 85.7 hertz. And bring up the gain to 5.1 decibels and the Q to around 4.4 I'd say for param 2 bring the frequency all the way up to 20 hertz and the gain to 8 decibels but bring the Q all the way down to around 1 what this does, it cuts um, some low ends off but brings the high ends up. So this gives us a more frequency 
wider range. Now for the next effects we're just going to create some reverb. So the first reverb is just going to be an RB7 digital reverb. We're going to leave out the whole algorithm. But bring the size to around 34. Let's bring the decay down a bit to about 12. Leave the damp where it is. But bring the dry wet to around 18 I'd say. And then just create a RV7000 advanced reverb. Uh, decay to around 20, 32. Bring up the HF damp to around 56. And the high EQ to about 9 or 16. And of course you want to bring the dry wet to about 14 I'd say. So um, that's it for the synth. So uh, let's just look how it sounds now. Now if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'll have a lot more tutorials coming. So um, yeah.